How's it going everyone? JKX VX here, back on Foot 2004 once again. Super 7 has added a whirl of opportunities when it comes to map and challenge creation in Horizon 4. A few days ago I did a video regarding how to get to the Edinburgh Bridge and how to finally explore that for the first time. Now I've got a few other ideas like that, however today we're going to be showcasing and I'm going to be sort of teaching you about the skate park and loop de loop maps that you can now make. As we all know, there are a bunch of stunt related props within the builder. And the first thing that people think of are a giant skate park. Well, one of the first things I did was make a giant stunt park for you all to play. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you that and show you how to play it and also give you tips and tricks on how to build your own. Also, we have a loop de loop to look at as well a full-on car doing a loop-de-loop. -loop. Now this is the first map that I want to show you. It's already got quite a few players on it, to be honest, and the other one is this one here, which also has a relatively good amount of plays. Here is the share code for the skate park map, and that is the name of it. Let me show you what it's all about. As you can see, it's up at the airport and it's got half pipes and loops-de-loops -loops everywhere. Let me do a quick showcase of what's on this stunt park map. There are some very, very simple ramps at the beginning on the left and on the right. Just practice going up and down them, simple as that. And then here, there is almost a full loop. You can do sort of backflips and stuff like that. You can even seamlessly go around the whole thing. Just another fun thing to have a bit of a play on. And then over here, we have a full tunnel, which you can do several loop de loops in. Uh, but not as big as a loop de loop as we're doing later, that's for sure. But this is rather seamless. It took me a while to get each one of the corners perfect, but you should have no issue doing a loop de loop in there. It's really hard to line these up correctly, but I managed it. Of course, on all stunt park maps, we have to have a giant ramp. This ramp isn't huge, it's quite big. You can have a bit of fun on it if you want to. There's a ramp there if you want to use it. And then one of the most interesting stuff, this is, I don't really know what you'd call it, you can tell what it is, it's a very enhanced kind of wall that you can ride around almost um, sideways and upside down from one end to the other. Then we have another sort of circle, it's a lot smaller, don't really know why I made this one, but if you just want to play in a smaller one, then there are some ramps to just have a bit of fun on going up to the top of it. However, the main thing that people are going to enjoy is this bad boy. This is a full ring of ramps where you can drive sideways all the way around it, almost like a wall of death, but just massive. Um, this took ages to line up. I challenge you to make this yourself. It's really difficult. It takes a while, but if you manage it, it's so much fun. And then I have also increased the size of these ramps, which are already here at the shipping containers. See if you can get into those buildings over there, but I've increased the size of them as well, so why not? So overall, this is a really cool area to have a play around in. You can do all sorts of stuff. I did the absolute best I could and tried to choose the best car I could as well, which was this high horsepower, bouncy, oh, crash there, Funko or whatever it's called, but yeah. Oh, riding it sideways there. It's so cool. I wish you could pick your own car in them. Oh. Seamless. Now over here. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, Skate Park 1.0. Go and play it. Go and have a blast. Let me now show you my loop de loop that I made on stream, actually. The Loopy Loop map is called Big Loopy Loop. Here is the share code if you want it, 137-794-599. Let me show you what this bad boy is all about. This map is basically just one thing, a big loop-de-loop, -loop, that you can basically do a full loop in the car, but it's absolutely ginormous, which you'll soon see. Here it is, a full loop-de-loop. -loop. It's not very straight, but it's really hard to make them. You have to get the, the, the ramp so seamless and you also have to add a bit of angle with each one so you don't end up just crashing into the ramp after you've done. But it's possible, I've done it a few times and at the end, there's a little hole you have to go to as well just to make it a bit harder. But can you do this? Give it a try. Let me give it a try now and show you what it's all about. Oh, I failed. Now you don't actually need much speed to do it, you can actually do it rather slowly and I suggest doing it in first person, but see if you can manage it in third person. Let me see if I can successfully do it now. Yeah. 
Yeah, boy. That's how you do it. And then can we get through the last little cubby hole? Yes, we can. That's the loop the loop, boys. Don't use fifth gear, by the way. Just stay in fourth. We're actually going to go up this one a lot quicker. Oh, 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 oh. I failed. I also landed it, but I can't do that again. <laughs> I tried to do it backwards. That's not gone well at all. So that is yet another map creation I've made. The big loopy loop. Go and give it a try. I showed you the share code and go and play it. Now the thing I suggest doing is not cloning them. Not cloning them where you can. And I'll show you why now. If you manually choose the stunt part thing here by clicking A, if I go up and down and move my thing around, it's staying straight. It's staying in line with the floor. It's staying straight, it's staying flat. If I go up, down, left, right, no matter how much I move, it's staying flat. However, if I grab one here and clone it, and if I go up and down, it's, it's all over the place. If I just do that and then place it there, it's now at a funny angle. It's a stupid funny angle. And if I go to clone another one and I move it around, it's just, it's already just misaligned. If I place it, I don't know, there, you can tell it's not straight anymore. So that's why you pick it from the menu, because when you pick it from the menu, it's fixed on a straight line, which allows you to easily not have to worry. All you have to do is get the height right and the distance right. Back and forth, up and down, it stays straight. Let me just show you very quickly now. Let me place a ramp there. Let me grab another ramp and then try to line it up manually. So I chose the ramp manually and then we're gonna try and line it up. There we go. Look how seamless that was. That's rather perfect if you ask me. Look how straight that is. And then if I try and clone it and bring it along, any up and down movement is gonna give it an angle any up and down so if I need to move it up and then to go down with the trigger and move it up it's it's already if I place it there it's already being given an angle look because it's already peeking out the top so you try and bring it back and then it's just got a bit of a lump there as you can see it just doesn't work so if you if you're struggling always pick it from here the same goes for these if you place one down and grab the next one from the menu as well and then you can rather easily line it up they're a bit harder than the other ones but you can easily line it up if you're making a very very big loop de loop as you can see there is a height limit i physically cannot get my camera <clears throat> any higher and pretending this is a loop de loop we're only halfway and i can't get my camera high enough to place the ones up i can't get any higher you know what i mean well there's a way to get around this it's very simple if you need to get your camera higher up for whatever you're building place something beneath you get the ferris wheel put it at an angle place it about where the camera is and you can actually get on top of the ferris wheel and it will make your camera taller as you can see so this is how i would do an oval i would line those two up almost perfectly um there we go and then i would pick the next one using the menu i wouldn't clone it and i would make it the perfect angle and then I would close the gap seamlessly. That's rather good, actually. It's a bit of it's a bit of an angle, but I'm sure we'll see. We'll grab the next one. We'll put that at an angle as well. And then we, I presume, it's these that line up here. There we go. And now you have to just basically get the angle right. So the bottom's connected properly. So then you just basically change the angle. Grab that. Let's pop that there. I'm using the D-pad, by the way. And then there, does that connect them up? Almost connects them up. There we go. All nice and connected. Try to use the cloning and the editing. So don't use the A button and don't use the Y button as least as possible. Use the D-pad and use the menu. That was a pretty seamless collect connection, if you ask me. A look at that. So that, so guys, that is all you sort of need to know about stunt park creations in Horizon 4. I hope you have fun with my maps. I've got many more to come. The next one's rather exciting. So keep an eye out for that. And make sure to show me on Twitter, on Instagram, or just show me wherever 
the creations you managed to make with my little tips and tricks. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, please leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 4 content, and I will see you all later.